food. It's a big part of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Sonic's main food is chili dogs, but recently a trend has started of shonen protags having to work 9 to 5 jobs thanks to My Hero Academia making its main character Deku completely and utterly quirkless. Another thing Sonic is known for is going fast. So you know what that means. Yes, that's right, today we're going to rank Sonic characters based on how fast they can serve their damn customers and make me a good fucking burger. Why? Well, I believe Sonic and his friends aren't doing enough to serve the economy. With how many rings Sonic takes per day, it can't be good for the livelihoods of regular everyday people. Hunger is also a growing problem, so I believe it's time for these little rats to finally put their speed, tails, hammers, and knuckles to the test. To make things easier, I'll only be ranking Sonic's core cast. This obviously means no sticks, no emerald, no E102 gamma, unfortunately no infinite, and so on. I'll also be leaving the tier list I used for this video in the description. I also won't just be ranking based on how fast the food is made, but also on the quality of the food. You can't run a good food chain if your food is total dog shit, no matter how fast you are. With that said, let's finally begin with the first shift going to Shadow the Hedgehog. Ah, the ultimate life form. But can he live up to that name with his burger making skills? Well, I think he could. He's obviously just as fast as Sonic, so he can make one in pretty good time, and I wouldn't doubt his burger making skills either. So overall, I'd genuinely go as far as to say that Shadow would make the perfect burger. This is a pretty simple one, honestly. Okay, next up is Blaze. Now, obviously, Blaze is quite literally royalty, so I don't really see her eating much fast food stuff, honestly. With that in mind, she is just as fast as Sonic is, being his opposite from an alternate dimension. But it's hard to make something you don't know how to make, especially in a quick amount of time. So I don't think you should be able to do it very fast. In terms of quality though, well, same thing to be honest. Originally I was going to say she'd make a decent burger, not good or bad, but okay. But then I found out that she's canonically a bad cook, so yeah, she'd probably not be very fast with it, and the burger would definitely be bad. After, we have Charmy. I don't even need to spend much time on this fuck. I'd think he'd be slow as hell and he'd make a shitty burger. In no world can I see Charmy giving a 10 out of 10 experience. At most, I could maybe see him giving a 7 out of 10, but even then I think that's unlikely. He's absolutely giving you the worst burger ever made. Now Rouge, on the other hand, is a tough one. Similar to Blaze, I don't see her being the type to eat fast food, especially not a burger. Despite that, I think she'd make a rather quality one if paid well enough. You know, she'd genuinely lock in. In terms of the speed, Rouge isn't too fast, so I don't see her making one that quickly, but I think the quality would be good enough to satisfy the customers. It just depends on how well she's paid. She'd do anything for the grind, and I respect that. I'm putting Orbot and Cubot together because they usually work as a pair, and also because this is just such an easy one. Both of these two are complete and utter failures, they have no source, no skills, I think they'd genuinely be fired on the first day of work. I'm actually shocked Eggman hasn't turned these two into scrap yet. They'd make a horrible burger and they'd take hours to do it with at least 300 plus attempts. It'd be the biggest failure in human history, or I guess robot history to be fair, but still, you get my point. These two would absolutely suck ass at making burgers. Now, you know who'd make a pretty good burger? Amy. Amy is canonically a good cook, so we're already off to a good start with the quality. In terms of speed, well, if we're going off Sonic Heroes logic, she is just as fast, or at least close to as fast as Sonic, so I think she could make one in pretty good time as well. Sage, however, is an interesting one. Now, for speed, it's pretty simple. I think she'd be slow. I don't really see her being very fast at making one, assuming she does it by herself with 100% legitimacy. However, if she takes advantage of technology, which we know she can do, she could do it fast. It depends on the route you want to go, in terms of quality it's the same thing, without technology she'd probably make a not very good burger, especially with no experience when it comes to cooking and with her being a literal child, but if she chooses to use things such as the internet to get instructions to do everything properly, she could probably make a really good burger. I think the technology route is more accurate, especially being the daughter of Eggman, though I'll say she makes a good burger at a good pace too. Speaking of technology, Tails is another weird one. Tails is obsessed with inventions. Also, he's not an actual robot like Sage, where the internet and technology are part of who she is. Tails is essentially just a regular guy who's good at creating things, so for this I'm going to take the technology away from Tails. By doing that, I think he wouldn't be a very good cook. I legitimately believe he'd rush the meal and it turn out bad, which in the end causes him to have a good amount of speed but a low quality burger. 
Now, if we were to give him his inventions, I don't doubt Tails could come up with something that makes a good burger and fast, but he doesn't have that technology, so unfortunately that won't be the outcome. However, if we rank Tails, we have to rank Sonic. Sonic, I think, would make an okay burger in a fast amount of time. He is the fastest thing alive, so it definitely makes sense. But burgers aren't his main thing, chili dogs are, so I think using his knowledge of chili dogs, of which very little can apply to burgers, but walk with me for a second, he'd make a burger that's not necessarily horrible, but it is edible. You know, it's one where it's not the best, you probably wouldn't go out of your way to order it, but if you're given it, you'll eat it. That's where I see Sonic being. Metal Sonic took a while to figure out, however, after about 30 minutes of thinking about every possibility, I believe I've cracked it. Metal Sonic would make the worst burger known to man. It'd be horrendous, downright sickening how bad his burger would be. But he'd make the fastest one, or at least close to the fastest. Because he doesn't care for the quality of the burger, he cares about being faster than Sonic. So while Sonic is taking his time thinking about what to make, Metal Sonic would just get right to it. He'd put some random shit on, put that shit in the oven, and call it a day. And in the end, that's a victory for him. Because when it came down to it, he was faster than Sonic. Okay, after that we've got Silver, so we've already established that Blaze probably can't cook for shit. Now, they were in Crisis City for a good amount of time, there probably weren't any fast food restaurants or any restaurants in general that existed anymore. They had to survive in some way and I doubt Iblis was cooking for them, so that only leaves Silver. I believe Silver was the one who helped to make food while he and Blaze were fighting Iblis in the future. So with that knowledge and with him being in a time where the city isn't completely destroyed, I think Silver can make a good burger, and in terms of speed, he has that covered too, being just as fast as Sonic and Shadow. So yeah, I definitely thought the idea that Silver has skills when it comes to cooking. Cream though, I think would make an okay burger. At the end of the day, she's a regular ass child, she doesn't have any powers or anything like that. Now, if she gets help from Vanilla, I could definitely see a good burger being produced, but would it be fast? No, of course not. Whether either way, we are including Vanilla here because that'd be cheating. No outside help is allowed, this is purely based on Cream's ability to make a burger, and that ability I think would just be mediocre to be honest with you. I think she'd try her best, but in the end, it wouldn't be the greatest. Alright, next up is Espio. Do you want me to be honest? Do you want me to be completely and 100% real with you? I think you'd make it fast, but I think the quality would be bad. Why? Honestly, for the first time, I actually don't have much of a reason, he just doesn't really give off that vibe to me. Knuckles, however, is the total opposite. I think he'd make a banger burger, but he'd be slow, he'd take his time with it to make sure it comes out perfect. I don't see Knuckles being a bad cook, I mean he had to have survived some way on Angel Island, so he definitely cooked for himself regularly, which obviously increased his skills. Now you know who wouldn't make a good burger? Eggman. But hear me out on this one, he'd do it intentionally. Eggman can cook, he knows what he's doing, but knowing that his burger is going to be eaten by other people, he'd make it intentionally shitty. Just be an asshole, just be fucking funny. That's what I truly think. Eggman could cook the most divine experience known to man, but he chooses not to. And just for the sake of it, he'd do it slowly as well. He'd take his time with it, just to drag it out. So that when you inevitably get your burger after maybe 30 minutes to an hour of waiting, it turns out to be total ass. You cannot make me believe he wouldn't do that. Okay, following up on Eggman, we have Omega, who I also think wouldn't make a good burger and would also take forever, but for different reasons. Particularly because he's just not built for it. Big ass hands, bulky as fuck. If he were to try and make a burger, it'd take forever, and I don't think it'd turn out very well. I'm sorry, Omega, that's just what I think. Vector, on the other hand, I think could make a solid burger. He'd be slow doing it, but it wouldn't be inedible. I think it's another one where if it's given to you, you eat it, but it's not something anyone would go out of their way to water. And to end things off, you know we had to finish it with Bake the Cat. And Big, I think, is in the same boat. He can obviously cook decently for himself, he does like, a lot of fishing, but Big's also known for being pretty slow. So, I think he'd make an okay burger, but it wouldn't be very fast. And with that, this stupid fucking content idea is finished. Here's the full tier list if you genuinely care that much. But in the end, this list doesn't truly matter, because when it comes down to it, the real message to take away from this video is that Infinite clears all of them under every circumstance. Not a single character here compares to the true, undefeated burger-making champion. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.